Hi there and welcome back to Cooking with Mark. Today we're going to make caramel apple lollipops uh, hard candy. It's very easy to make. All you're going to need is a half a cup of corn syrup, a cup of granulated sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of extra strength um, apple flavor, and an eighth of a teaspoon of caramel uh, flavoring. Let's get started here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add one half cup corn syrup into your measuring cup. And then you're going to add your sugar. And we're going to add the caramel flavor to this beforehand. However, the, the extra strength apple is not going to go in until afterwards. That's going to be the last thing that we're going to add in. Now all you're going to do is you're going to mix this up until your sugar is completely dissolved. And for this we're actually going to use a fork. Now if you look at this you'll see that it's almost like a paste, which is exactly what you want. I'm gonna get this all st stirred. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the microwave for three minutes on high. While that's doing that, we're going to use these. Now these you can pick up at your craft stores. All they are are lollipop. Um, hard candy trays, shells. Now I did pick up two of these and I happen to find another one I want to try. Um, I love working with silicone. So I actually have a silicone one here as well. The silicone one you don't have to do anything with. These you have to spray down with cooking spray. The silicone ones you don't. You're just going to fill these up. Now, after you take that out for uh, three minutes, you're going to, uh, after it cooks for three minutes, you're going to take it out, stir it up, put it back in for another three minutes, and stir it. The next time it comes out, you're going to let it sit for about 10 seconds, and then you're going to add your apple flavoring to it. Now, the other thing that you want to make sure that you add is make sure you spray these down with cooking spray. 
Um, as I said, you don't have to spray these down. These you just pour right into the molds. You're also going to need lollipop sticks. Now you want to make sure that the container you use for your microwave is microwave safe um, for a very high hot temperature um, because your candy mixture is actually going to be um, in there for about six minutes. So we've got this in here. Now all you're going to do is just simply pour this in to your trays like so. Now, once you do that, simply take your sticks, and this has to be done at just the right time, and turn your stick around into the mixture so that it, it sets in. and make sure you turn it. And this doesn't take that long to set. So you wanna make sure you do this just right. And that's all you're going to do. We're going to do the rest of these. And you're going to let this set anywhere from two hours to overnight. Now, after this gets done, all you're going to do is coat it with powdered sugar so that it doesn't stick when you put it in your baggies and then you seal them up with a twist tie um, which I did buy those as well and then we're just going to do the same thing on these And make sure you turn this. Now, if you do put too much in here, you will see that it will run down the side. So you want to make sure that you put enough in, but not too much. And keep in mind that this is candy. So it is extremely hot. Um, the best way to actually do this is to take your stick and dip it into the lollipop and twist it and then press down. Because um, then once you do that, it'll actually wrap around the lollipop. And we just have these to do. So we're going to slide these over. Now, as I stated, these don't have to be coated. Now, 
Now, if you wanted to, if you had leftovers, you could actually take the leftover and put it in a tray. Oh, that was too much. Too much there. Um, so anyways, you could put it in a tray and let it harden that way. And then again, with these, all you're going to do is just simply take your sticks and twist it. Now, if they're small pieces, they do not take that long to harden. Um, if they're hard, if they're bigger pieces, they will take a little bit longer. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you're putting this in a tray, all you have to do is just Put it in your tray, let it harden, and then break it into little pieces. And you can have little pieces of hard candy. And you can add any flavor you want to this. Um, as you can see, these are all done. Uh, it's caramel apple lollipops, hard candy. Um, everything was bought at a, a hobby shop. Um, except for the sugar and the corn syrup, I bought that at Walmart. Um, the other stuff was bought at, um, AC Moore's or Hobby Lobby. If you have any questions, the video is going to be up on my website. It's also going to be up on my, um, Facebook page, my Twitter account, as well as my YouTube account. Um, it's cookingwithmark.com or my Facebook page, Cooking with Mark. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day now.